Today I am choosing what I want most over what I want right now. I am going to head out and go for a 10k run. I have worked way too hard to get to the position I'm in now to just give up, to just not even bother. Started out at 230 pounds. I couldn't run for more than 30 seconds at a time. I looked online and I tried to find that person who I could relate to, who was showing me the same struggle that I was going through every time I tried to get my trainers on and run. Unfortunately, I couldn't find that person, but I'm gonna cut a really long story short here and tell you that I've ran a lot of miles and I've lost a lot of weight. So I've decided to become the YouTuber that I needed to see way back then. So if you are feeling like you're alone, if you feel like this is something you really wanna do, but you're embarrassed about it, you don't wanna tell people about it, you don't wanna be judged for it, you don't wanna be seen, maybe you just need a running buddy. Well, look, I'm here, I'm your virtual running buddy. Hit that subscribe button down below. We're gonna go on a 10K run together. I show it as it is. I'm not an athlete, I'm not a PT, I'm not, a professional in any way shape or form <laughs> i am just your everyday person getting it done i've been at the hardest part which is starting at morbidly obese and i've got to where i am today by choosing what i want most over what i want right now let's go you're coming with me if you didn't realize <laughs> i should be outside and running by now but i've just been delaying delaying and doom scrolling on my phone for ages and it's now 20 past nine. I would be well in there and fully struggling at this point on the run. <laughs> but no, I'm still home. I'm dressed. I've got that far, no trainers on yet. And the dog doesn't even know, hasn't even seen me in this kit yet. So <sighs> what is it about getting out the door sometimes? Even now after four years, I'm still like this. Will it ever change? I mean, the difference is now, before I just wouldn't have gone, wouldn't have even had the idea to go, but I am actually going to go. <laughs> I may be delaying it, but I'm still going. And that is literally the most important thing. So yes, I'm still delaying, have you noticed? <laughs> You've seen me now with my trainers. Yes, tell me we're going. <laughs> I am about 10 minutes in, about a mile done. Well, just over a mile, 1.1. And I definitely went way too quick, but Storm needed a you know what. And then he gets excited beforehand. He gets excited afterwards. He's so impressed with himself. <laughs> and all of the poo bins, all of the doggy bins are like at the bottom of the hill. So we did a lot of running downhill. That was like a sub 9.30. <laughs> mile that we did and he's just decided to like do a wee and then like skirt all of this grass around hey he's just he's still ready to go look at him i've only been going like 30 seconds since i last spoke to you all i did was cross that road i just got the biggest biggest evils from this woman in the car i was running down the sub path she was driving past and she glared give me massive a dirty dirty look I don't know what I did, but it must have been good, eh? <laughs> Nineteen minutes in, and I've just had to stop for the second time to. Oi! went in a puddle to stretch off like my calves and my legs they're so so tight so I just had to stop and that's the trouble when you run with Storm he just absolutely goes for it in the first mile and that's like the worst thing you can do your first mile could potentially be your warm-up that's like best case scenario but for me it's like the peak of my workout is the first mile and there's not a lot I can do about it because it's Storm. <laughs> yeah, I just need him to pace himself. But you know what? This is what it is. This is how it is. Storm's only got me. He normally runs with Matt. And Matt will be home soon. <laughs> Four weeks. He can take over Storm's runs. Yeah, it's just not being able to train for like anything. Just basically like going for runs to go for runs at this point. Which is absolutely fine. At the end of the day, <laughs> that was my dream. This situation I'm in now, running twice a week with Storm. <laughs> was an unattainable goal, an absolute dream. So if you're not actually training for anything 
in particular, you just want to be able to run without feeling like you're going to pass out <laughs> or throw up. Then that, my darling, is absolutely fine as well. If anything, that's even more inspirational than me trying to run my next ultra. Can we guess who's been jumping in puddles? In particular, every single one that he sees. Guilty. <laughs> even under his face. Cheeky boy. I always stop and chat with you guys at this point. <sighs> God, I'm really, really tired. I have dropped the dog off. I have no dog. He hasn't just run away and left me because I'm too slow. <laughs> He's home and having a drink and I gave him a treat. A few videos ago I mentioned that he was licking his paw just in case there was one of you <laughs> out there who wondered if he was okay. He's absolutely fine. I think he just had something in it and he got it out and he hasn't licked it since. That's why I didn't mention it again <laughs> because it went away. So yeah, his paws are fine. <laughs> but I do worry because you know, sometimes you see like um, pieces of glass, like broken glass on the floor, the pavements and stuff. And uh, <sighs> I think I'm an overthinker, but I always think like, oh no, there must have been some on the path and I didn't see it and he ran over it and now it's in his paw and he can't tell me about it, but he was fine. <laughs> this is why I'm better off leaving Matt to look after Storm in that sense with his fitness because he doesn't overthink like me. He's a bit more level-headed. <laughs> comes back and I'm just gonna pretend that I haven't even done those two and a half miles, even though I ran here and it, uh, my legs feel like I have like chunks of cement stuck around them from top to bottom and uh, it's a bit of a struggle so yeah running quickly in the first part of your run isn't the best tactic <sighs> but uh, like I said earlier there's not much I could do about it it's that Storm's run and I've got to give Storm what he wants don't I <laughs> This can't be as bad as I think it is because I'm literally about to tick over to four miles. In. In. Four miles. So I've only got like 2.2 miles left. So if I think I'm going to quit now, well that would make me an absolute idiot, wouldn't it? I also heard a thought that some people have YouTube channels, okay? This is why you should give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. <laughs> some people have YouTube channels where they don't even talk out loud. They, they whisper to the camera. You know those ASMR channels? Some people sit in a dark room and whisper. But me, oh no. Oh no. I've got to get my trainers on and I've got to go running and I've got to film myself doing it with everybody watching me thinking, what is this girl doing? So give this video a thumbs up and become a virtual running buddy if you haven't already. I'm just having a quick stretch. Just having a quick stretch because I'm not about ruining my day by beasting myself in the last half a mile. Whew. I have just got to get up the hill to my house. If you just picture an upside down ice cream cone and my house is at the top. Well, where I've just been for the last bit is I ran down the ice cream cone and I've been running around the flat ridge for like a mile and a half or maybe just a mile I don't know felt like a mile and a half and now I've got to go back up to the top I wish I had ice cream at home <laughs> Not 
very. <laughs> Hello, mister. What you been up to, eh? Not cleaning yourself, that's for sure. Mister. <laughs> that is 6.2 miles. I got 10K done. I was out the house for over an hour running. That's exactly what I wanted to be doing today. I'll be honest, I got up this morning. I did not want to go for a run. I feel like every morning I wake up and I'm like negative and I'm like, oh, I don't want to do this. Oh, I don't want to get up and run today. Oh, I don't want to turn my laptop on. Just saving my run. Completely forgot. <laughs> yeah, I just keep waking up feeling negative. Whatever it is that's going on, it's, oh, I can't be bothered. The night before, I could be super excited for it and want to change my life. <laughs> but obviously, I do get up and I do get it done and I do turn up for work and I work hard. <laughs> I've obviously got up and I've gone for my run. But even when I dropped my daughter off and I came back and before I even got, went to get changed, I'm just like scrolling on my phone, delaying, delaying, not really wanting to do it. And I think that is why practicing turning up is so, so important. Like I was never gonna not go. That's the thing I knew in the back of my mind I was gonna do it. Just like I'm never gonna not turn up for work just because I don't want to, that's not gonna happen. So because I've had the discipline in the past and I've practiced turning up, it's more of a, I'm just delaying the inevitable instead of just outright not doing it. Hello, Storm. <laughs> I wonder if you guys have times like that where it's like everyone else just makes it look so easy and everyone else is just like... <laughs> yes, Stormy. Hello. Yeah, you're kind of in the way a little bit. <laughs> and I guess it's just okay to not be up, ready, raring to go every single time. It's just not gonna happen, I'm only human. But anyway, I've done it. I'm really, really happy with that run. I felt great. As time went on and I eased into it more, I got more and more comfortable and I just felt better about it. Obviously, like I was saying earlier, like setting off with Storm is just a bit like too much sometimes. He really burns me out. But saying that, he used to burn me out a lot more at the beginning. So what was a negative and what kind of is a negative is actually possibly improve my running slightly but again I've not got any goal or any PBs that I'm trying to break right now I'm just trying to get through everyday life and that's okay we're just getting through you know <laughs> we're just doing what we can <laughs> thank you guys so much for coming with me on this run today I really hope you enjoyed make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you need a virtual running buddy this is hard out there doing all this on your own if you haven't got any running mates but I'm here and so is over 7,000 thousand of you guys I, it still blows my mind completely that i have over seven thousand running buddies like pff, insane <laughs> you guys are the best take care i will see you soon for some more updates bye guys <laughs>